you see that uh, Jenkins is fully up and running, you will get this uh, sign in a page and then you can just log in. That's it. And you're now ready to start working on your new operation center. Quickly test out if we can create a new master. So we can create a master either by clicking new item here and selecting a manage master and a name, or we can also create a new master from here. So let's just create a new master here and just call it, uh, these, these are called managed masters. So let's call it MM1. Then you are given a, a page where you can see what's gonna be created for that master. Um, one thing that I wanna point out here is that this is the storage class that was created for us as part of the Helm installation. So if we look at our command line right here, you can see that this is uh, what was created uh, when we created the GKE cluster. And this is the one that was created as part of the installation. So this managed master is gonna create, it's gonna use that storage class for us. And it's already set up. Uh, a few things that you can change is the memory, the uh, heap ratio and CPU, and we can work on that uh, in later videos. But today we're just gonna leave everything as default uh, just to make sure that we can create another master. So once we click save, it's gonna start creating that master. And we can take a look at what's going on here. Uh, you can see that a new pod is being created and a new service is gonna be created. Um, you can also take a look at the logs here. Uh, right now it's pulling the image for the master uh, and also a stateful set was created. So let's just wait for a little until that master comes up. All right, what we can also do is we can take a look at the logs to see what's going on with that pod. So it sounds that it's not ready yet. So let's look at that. So this is still coming up. Once it's up, we'll be able to access it through the same URL. Let's take a look. All right, so now our master is, is has it started and we're gonna Click on install suggested plugins, the same process that we did with the operation center. Then we click start using manage master. That's it. Now we have a managed master that we can access from the operation center. Um, later, we'll talk about how we can restrict access to different masters or different jobs using folders.